Uh, how many of those items would you have walked right past? Like, not buying it. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. These are items that I have picked up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, you name it, Facebook Marketplace, YouTube auctions. But these are my bread and butter. Typically, these items are easier to find, and I sell these items for $35 or less. Let's get started. All right, so the first item are these children's picture books by Karma Wilson's, and it's the Bear series. There's five books and four audio CDs. Um, I picked these up. I believe they were a quarter a piece. I think I paid a quarter for the book and then a quarter for the CD. Um, so I ended up selling these for $35. The buyer was all in for $41.51. The next item is this Disney store Prince Naveen uh, doll. And I got this at a garage sale and I've gone to this garage sale before and they always have new old stock Disney items. It's really weird. And they usually sell them for a decent price. I paid $5 for this and I sold it pretty quickly for $35 plus shipping. It's the, um, the Prince from the Frog and Princess movie or Princess and the Frog or something like that. Farm animal figures. So these are just toy cows and, and a horse lot. So um, I always pick up these figures. Some of the certain ones like Schleich and um, certain brands, the bigger toys, they are marked on the bottom. If they are vintage, some of them are hard to find and you can get 15 to 20 bucks sometimes just for one animal. So definitely look them up if you see them. I ended up selling all of these for $14 plus shipping and I just picked these up at different places. This is a Creative Memories uh, paper cutter. If you guys remember the garage sale video where I bought all of the crafting um, Creative Memories items, this was one of the items. Comps were pretty low on it and it had um, initials right here. So I was like, should I list it? And I decided to just list it low and it ended up selling pretty quickly. So I sold it for $9.80 plus shipping. The next item here is this Webkin's Nick Mazin hamster plush with code from Gans Santa. This was in a mystery box, so I really didn't source this. It was a thrift store Christmas box, and it's new old stock, so of course I listed it. It was just a major bread and butter, sold it for $7 plus shipping. The next item is this dollhouse Toys R Us, you and me happy together. So this is not Loving Family. This is Toys R Us brand. This is what it looks like. You and me happy together. So if you see Toys R Us on the bottom, make sure you look it up and um, find out which uh, dollhouse it goes to. I got these for a dollar at a garage sale, sold them for $32.50 plus shipping. A lot of times I will part them out individually, but I bought this together. So I decided to just sell it as a family. The next item is this vintage Little Tykes Blue Roof Dollhouse White Railing Replacement Part. So I actually have four of these railings that came off this dollhouse and I decided to part them out. Somebody offered me $7.80 for one of them. I went ahead and took that. They were all in for $14.71. I do still have three available. These range from somebody buys it super quick because they need it to being a long tail item. It really just depends. But um, if you see a dollhouse like a loving family or a little tykes dollhouse at a garage sale and it is incomplete, or if it's a lot of times they're really faded out um, or damaged, pull these pieces off. Buy it and pull the pieces off if you can get it cheap. Um, don't don't just leave the dollhouse behind because there are sellable parts. The windows, um, the doors, the railings, all of that you can make money on and it adds up quick. The next item is this far-fetched dog pin brooch. Um, some of these were marked sterling, if I remember correctly, but there was no marking on this that said that. Um, so I did not put it on mine. This is what it says, Farfetch'd. That's the brand. I did not see anything. So maybe it's unmarked. Maybe the people, I mean, oh, wait, what's that? No. Um, maybe, I, I don't know, but I wasn't going to put sterling if I didn't know for sure. So 
not sure, but it ended up selling for $24 plus shipping, got it at a garage sale for $2, but this far-fetched brand, um, the comps weren't too bad for it. This Dragon Ball figure took a long time to sell. Um, I got this at a garage sale. I did pay up for it. I paid $5 for it and I sold it best offer of $25 plus shipping. Again, it took a while to sell, so I was just happy to see it go. This is another one most of you would probably pass by. It's a vintage Snoopy Halloween Frankenstein plastic figure. Um, I decided to sell it separate because it is Halloween themed and it is um, Snoopy and vintage. I sold it for $9.10 plus shipping and I had about 10 cents in that with a bundle buy at a garage sale. This one here is a vintage BBT 1994 miniature pastel camera with baby set Mimi and the Goo Goo Toys. And if I remember correctly, I did not have Mimi and the Goo Goo Toys. And one of my viewers was looking through my eBay store and saw it and messaged me and told me what it was called. So that helped, I'm sure, sell this item. It ended up selling for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for 25 cents. These are the disappearing baby bottles. So you flip them upside down and the milk or the juice goes into the bottom of the bottle. I always pick these up. These sell really good. Other uh, major bread and butter, but magic disappearing baby bottles. This one is by you and me. Any replacement items that are bottles, pacifiers that go with dolls, I buy them because they sell. Um, this sold for $11.05 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $17.60 and I got those at a garage sale for 50 cents. The next item came out of a Facebook marketplace haul. The lady messaged me and said, I have a bag of stuff. Um, I had Last time I had bought from her, I'd given her my information and said, um, call me if you have more stuff. I'll come get it. And she just calls me, gives me a price. I buy it sight unseen. I have no idea what I'm getting. I do a video for you guys. And this is one of the items. This, um, I had about a dollar in it and I sold it for 13 plus shipping. It is the Descendants uh, Bridesmaid Leotard Tool Skirt Costume. This is a Hot Wheels Monster Jam Donkey Kong Monster Truck. It is, um, let's see, I can't read my writing. I don't know where I got it because I can't read it. A, probably a garage sale or a mystery box. And I sold it for $9.75 plus shipping. So you can see how big it is here. I usually put my tape measure up to it. There we go. Okay, so this came out of a thrift store mystery box also. It's a breakable, which I don't do a lot of, but um, I try to, if it looks like something that I think will sell, to list those items. This is a vintage Christmas Joseph original sleigh, holly accent uh, decor, and it's made in Japan, and I love selling made in Japan items. Sold this for a best offer of $14. The buyer was all in for $22.95. And my cost of goods was probably a dollar less. Creative memories. I keep telling you guys, these are a bolo. They are a bread and butter bolo, but you can typically source them pretty cheap. But the ones that are um, retired, they sell quickly. Uh, this I got at a garage sale for a dollar, sold it for 13 plus shipping. This little dog right here is a puppy at heart dog um, and it's a purse and it's missing the strap. So I was like, do I list it? Is anybody going to buy it without the strap? And I'm like, somebody can put a strap on it. It's cute. It might look like their dog. I don't know. So I went ahead and listed it and I got that at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for $9 plus shipping. That's probably one of those items where you're scratching your head. Like, did she really list that? This here, I don't do a lot of clothes, but when you're at a garage sale and you see a Ralph Lauren sweater with a uh, a brand new tag on it for $2, you buy it. Um, I sold this for a best offer of 30 plus shipping. The next item is this cold water Creek necklace. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold this for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. This is a vintage Fisher Price Little People brown and black dog from 1990. It is a harder to find item. I got this out of a uh, mystery box from YouTube channel auctions for you. If you're looking for inventory, I will link her down below. Um, her and Donatella Bottolino have YouTube auctions, selling events, and they sell to resellers. So definitely check them out. I sold this little dog for $9 plus shipping. This is a 2002 Paper Magic Group Halloween mask. I got this from a thrift store for $1.50 and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. These are Connects um, replacement parts from the Screaming Serpent roller coaster. They are the Red Gears 
sold these for $15 plus shipping. These are typically a long tail item. I have parted out the Screaming Serpent twice. It is so much work, but it adds up to so much money, especially if you have the roller coaster and some of the more expensive parts. But parting out all these gears and all the pieces, it, it's a lot of work, but it does pay off. I have to be in the mood to part out this set. And um, I've done it twice. So it's not something I look for, but if I find it, I will buy it because I know that how much money I'll make on it. This guy right here, I pulled out of the Goodwill bins. He was in a uh, container full of these figures. And I'm like, this is a referee. There were two of them. And both of them have sold. And those sold quickly. Um, I think I've sold the football players, but it was a whole mixture of them. So I separated them by sport. So both referees have sold, or referee, umpire, I don't know what it is. Uh, he sold for $9.50 plus shipping. And then... Um, the second one sold for, I don't know. Um, it looks like, I don't know why it says 864 right now. Maybe the other one sold for that. This is a vintage Ken Barbie athletic tank. This came out of a dibble box. Um, that was from Donatella Bottolino. It's basically a mystery box where she just throws a hodgepodge of stuff in it. And I like smalls, so she will just throw in smalls. This was one of the smalls. Um, I sold this for $6 plus shipping. And um, the buyer was all in for eleven sixty. All right, I was talking about replacements. These are two windows, and I sold these for fourteen dollars plus shipping. I pulled them off a dollhouse. I can't remember which one, but um, definitely, definitely be on the lookout. This is a vintage Diet Coke snapback hat. This one actually took a really long time to sell. I was surprised because I thought the graphic was pretty cool. Um, I sold this for. $31.49, uh, the sale price, and the buyer paid the shipping. They were all in for $37.74, and I got all of those at a garage sale. A whole bunch of Coke, Diet Coke, Mellow Yellow, um, but it did take a while to sell. This is a retired Boyd's Bears Thinking of You series head bean. Um, happy anniversary. I don't know why I did not put happy anniversary in the title, but I did not. Um, it probably would have sold quicker. Somebody offered me nine bucks. I went ahead and took it. I have about a dollar in this from a huge Boyd's Bear uh, buyout that I did many, many years ago. So um, there are the Boyd's minis, the small ones, with like the little sweaters. Those are big money. There's certain other ones that are big money as well. Most of them are bread and butter, but if I can get them for a dollar or less, I will pick them up. These right here are um, Monet earrings, and I picked these up. I think these were in that bulk buy I purchased. I usually buy jewelry in bulk. I sold these for $15.40 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $21.93. And, huh. I missed one. I must have accidentally deleted the tag. It was something Fisher Price. Fisher Price. LB, huh? Oh, little people, I bet. Fisher Price, little people. I don't know what it was. But it sold for $7.98 plus shipping. And I got it at the bins. So I apologize. For some reason, that tab did not stay up. So yeah, that was my bread and butter bolos. Uh, how many of those items would you have walked right past? Like, not buying it. Nope, not for me. Margins too low. Not making enough money. Let me know if that's you. Put it down in the comments. If you're like me and you're like, I want to find this item a home, um, I can list this in like a minute or two and I can make a profit because I sourced it so cheap. I'm going to list it. If that's you, put it in the comments. Let me know what type of reseller you are. I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you're probably a number two, a number two. Ah! All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Um, Leave me an emoji of an owl in the comments or just put hoot. And thanks for watching. Oh, and subscribe.